Hi, welcome to another tutorial with me. My name is Ivan. Today I'm going to show you how to slice images and prepare them for the web. Um, and I'll just show you the, the HTML coding, coding sorry, that this produces for you. Okay, so I'm going to start off by doing just these three slices. I'm going to pause it um, just so I can do the rest so you don't have to watch me doing them all. And then after that I'll show you how to to export them. Okay. So first you want to go over to your slice tool, um, which is in the menu over here, uh, where the crop tool is. And you just want to go up quite close to it. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you can adjust it once it's done. Um, I've just taken a, a quick screenshot of my my website that's, that's up at the moment, um, just for the images. Okay, so you want to get those in, there we go. I'm just going to do the second one and then I'll show you a quicker trick because most of the images are all the same size. Um, we don't have to actually put a slice around them all. Okay, that one can go out a little bit. Not that much. There we go. If you if you're struggling to um, um, line it up, sometimes you've got the snapping on, so you want to go to View and Snap to, and I've I've got none selected, um, or else it's really difficult. It keeps on clicking back and forwards. Okay, just a little tip there for you. Right, so all these images are the same. Um, I want to do the third one. If I go to the second slice I did, I hold down Alt and you can see the plus sign there on the cursor. I hold down the left mouse button and drag across. There we go, so that's the next slice. You can see it's different, so that one's slice 8 and that one's slice 3. Okay, so I'm going to just pause this quickly, do the rest of my, my images, then I'll show you how to name them and export them. Oh, so welcome back. Um, I've completed all my slices. It's 13 in total. As you can see here, it goes up to uh, 41. That's because because this is a rectangle, and if we take, let's say, number 38, we take that out, I still need to build all the blocks um, to complete the triangle. So that's why it adds its own ones in. Um, I'll show you when we export it, uh, how it does that. Um, so let's edit our slice options. So you want to right click on your image slice and go to edit slice options. So over here you want to name it. This is what you're going to put into your uh, your HTML. So I'm just going to call that one selective uh, just because over there I've got it as selective color. URL um, it's a website. The target is what you want to talk to alt tag you can either do it on here or you can do it in your um, your coding itself I'm just going to put here selective selective color and the dimensions are over there for you as well and slice background type I'm going to keep it as none and click OK and then you want to do that with all of them I'll just do it with these first three Right click, edit slice options, uh, what's that one called, vibrance, okay, and the alt tag, so vibrance, just while I'm doing this last one, so you're right clicking and edit slice options, if you like this tutorial please um, hit the subscribe button as well, I've got lots more to come, um, hopefully you find in these Quite helpful. Okay, so, the, so I've just done those three. Um, so I've got 30, another 10 to do. I'm not going to do them. Um, it's just so I can show you how it goes. Okay, so we've done those. We go up to File and Export and we want to save for the web. Okay, so I've got it here. You can either choose individual slices um, and set the quality. I'll, I'll just keep it at 60, uh, which is quite high. Um, 
but it has to be good quality because it's it's pictures. Um, you can do them individually, change it from JPEGs to GIFs or PNGs 24, and that's a massive size for a photo. Okay, so that's 49k. I'm happy with that. And save. And at this um, section, you get to choose. Let me just go into slices. You can choose image only or HTML and images or HTML only. I'm going to choose HTML and images just to show you. And all slices or user slices. I'm going to do all slices for now. I'll show you the, the user slices after this one. Okay, so we hit save. there we go okay so now it's all in the, the slices folder all our images are here and there's the named ones there um, and the vibrant ones sorry I was just wondering where they were went. okay so the, these are all the the ones they created for us to create the the, um, the rectangle shape again and if we go come back over here um, you can see the HTML the images um, and that's just it, um, the Photoshop there so another way to view it you can go to file export save for web and you can see the preview here if you just hit the preview button it will open up in your web browser and that's what it would look like on the web it's made of tables um, so I wouldn't recommend doing it this way, but obviously if you're doing it this way, you, you know what you're doing it for and how you want to do it. Um, let's hit the save again. Over here, if we just choose images only and just all use the slices and hit save. Let's just replace them all. And let's go back to, to that folder. Okay, hold on, sorry. Let's delete that. And go back here. Sorry, I should have done that before. Okay, save for web. Yep, images only, all use the slices. And save. There we go. So now it's only done the, the ones that we've we actually sliced ourselves. Uh, which is way better, a way better choice um, for putting them in or else you get loads of images um, for my website it came up with 108 and only needed 30 so it's quite a lot um, if you wanted to build it yourself it will just be a static web page though um, yeah so that's that's how we do in the slices um, hope you liked the video if you'd like to follow me hit the subscribe button and I've got many more videos to come. Thank you.